In this episode, after dropping Kathy off at the Kingfisher Bay Ferry, we shelter the night behind Dark Island before sailing down the Great Sandy Straits to Inskip Point. We then dive Wolf Rock, a marine reserve it's created for the protection of the endangered grey nurse shark. To get into the shallow areas, we use a chart plotter, plus we have a satellite imagery that we can either overlay on the chart plotter or show on the laptop. It gives us a good cross-reference between the two systems for safety. Ready? So we've got beautiful downwind sailing down through the Great Sandy Straits between Fraser and the mainland. Just so smooth. Yeah. It's beautiful. That's Fraser Island over there. So we're having to do a lot of tacking to get through this because it's only a narrow bit of water that we can actually get through. It's nice not having the motor on, it's peaceful and quiet. There's a shipwreck straight ahead. Um, just see it sitting there. And I hope that we can stop here and have a little explore. This side. Ah, and he's got it. The wreck of the Ceratodus extends from the shoreline at the mouth of a small creek with the same name. During the 1940s, the Ceratodus carried fine white sand from Deep Creek and Bun Bun Creek to Maryborough, where it was used as casting sand for steel. Timber up here. After investigating the Ceratodus, we found that we had almost run out of fuel and tender. Luckily, we were not far from the boat and were able to restart the motor using the tiny amount of fuel left in the tank. Once the tender was refilled, we headed a few hundred metres up Deep Creek to investigate the wreck of the Palmer. In its heyday, the Palmer was a coastal sugar steamer. Okay. 
We tucked behind Inskip Point, just inside the crossing to Fraser Island from the mainland. This crossing out to sea from Inskip and Fraser Island is known as the Wide Bay Bar, and it is best crossed in good weather with a small swell and with a near high incoming tide. It's so pretty! And some sun down there. Oh. After dark, we had a couple dolphins swim up behind our boat. We had our underwater blue lights on that attracted fish, and the dolphins were taking advantage, catching them in our lights. They were curious and friendly, and played at the back of the boat for around 30 minutes. When the weather, tide and swirl were all looking favourable, we crossed the Wide Bay Bar and headed to Double Island Point, where we would wait for the following morning so we could dive on rock. Guys, and what are we hoping to see? Uh, Great no sharks, stingray, a turtle, ah, two new masks. Everyone doing a scrubby scrub. So, this is our gear ready for our dive. Well, this is um, Emma, Chris, and Robert. I can ring which we're about to load up and then drive over there. Wolf Rock is comprised of four volcanic pinnacles that are covered by hard and soft corals and is home to the critically endangered grain nurse shark, which congregate during October and November. Other sea life, such as the giant Queensland groper, eagle rays, bull rays, manta rays and turtles can also be seen. We were diving a few months after the best time to see the shark but we were hopeful that we may possibly see at least one. After swimming around one of the pinnacles into a chasm, we were met with an awesome sight. Grey nurse sharks were seemingly everywhere. We would estimate that there was at least 30 to be seen.
This was Robert's first dive since attending his dive license. It has certainly raised expectations for a second.